in the presence of people who try to pull you down, God will promote you largely and also honor you with His mercy, grace, and blessings. You need not worry about your haters. They are doing everything in their power day and night to make sure you do not succeed. They will definitely watch you succeed. God will perform miracles and wonders in your life. He will not perform the miracle in your presence alone, but in the presence of people so they can testify to the blessings of God in your life. Those people that try to pull you down, they will watch you receive your blessings from God. They will watch as all your dreams come to pass. The people in your life who try to get you angry, people who gossip and say terrible things about you, they are simply distractions in your life. It is just the enemy's strategy to knock you off the right path so that you can spend time on things that do not matter. Do not let them succeed with their plan. That's not your battle to fight. Just trust God and He will make everything easy for you. He will make those enemies crawl to you. Their opinions should never bother you. You should always be calm. Choose love and make your heart and spirit free of hate in everything you say or the things you do. Do not let them take the truth away from you. Keep your lights blistering. Let them say whatever they want. Just focus on your own life. Keep it going. Do not focus on how bad things get for now. You might feel like you are stuck in a place. You might spend most days in tears, just wishing things had gone differently. You might feel depressed and sometimes hopeless. These feelings will not last forever. Just keep pushing. You should never expect everyone to see and appreciate the good in you. Do not be offended when people are mean to you. They are only revealing themselves to you. God will bless you before them and make sure they watch. Your haters will definitely be looking for your downfall and they will go to any length to watch that happens. God will put your haters to shame. You already know God can bless you, show you His immense favor, promote you, heal you, show you His grace and mercy, but do not take advantage of that. God can use your enemies to achieve all these things for you. What you count as a disappointment may be a blessing in disguise, probably a person that walked away from your life, a friend that betrayed you, someone that pushed you away from their life. They might be delaying your destiny. This is all part of God's plan to get you to your destiny. Do not complain about your enemies. Of course, it would definitely look like a setback. But the truth is, it is all part of the plan to get you to your destiny. This is why it does not make sense to convince people to like you. You do not know what God has planned for you. You are probably hoping for a break from them. But God does not have to use your friends to bless you. He can also use those people in your life that has made it their job to bring you down. He can use them to push you to the next level. God may also have similar plans in place for you. People that would be placed strategically in your life to push you to your dream. There would also be people placed in your life by God to try to stop you from achieving your goals. These people are just there to provide trials to you. If you are not familiar or aware of this concept of life, it is easy for you to get discouraged and feel defeated. You start to question God, but the thing is, that opposition was not really meant to stop you, it was meant to establish you. When you defeat this opposition, you would show to people around you that you walk with the grace of God as you step into another level in your pursuit of your destiny. Sometimes, God will just place an enemy in your life to keep you on your toes. God will let critics and enemies to rubbish your efforts. He would purposely let them get to you. At that point, you feel so tired and frustrated and think you want to give up. You keep making progress, shaking off all the enemies, not because you feel like it. You do this because you do not want to give your enemies the satisfaction of seeing you in your defeated state. This may not be out of spite or pride, it is just out of determination. God uses the negative to test our faith and keep us on our toes. Sometimes, 
God will make use of your enemies to promote you to success even more than He would use your friends. When God saves you and makes you succeed against all odds, He does not do it in private. He would do it where all of those enemies would see it. You may be facing some kind of attack from your enemy, not just in person, probably an attack in your health, finances, and your relationship. This could actually be a sign that God is preparing something massive in your life. This could mean that any moment from now, you're going to hear good news from all around you. God will serve us the meal He has been preparing for us. It is going to be massive and would last forever. Your blessings would be so much that the world would envy you. God is definitely preparing a table for you. These blessings would not only be noticed by your friends alone, it is going to be seen by your enemies too, those that have sworn to always put you down. God will raise you above them and vindicate you in their presence. They will absolutely have nothing to hold against you. Betrayal is one of the numerous attributes of an enemy. They want to leave you frustrated, in most cases after you have placed so much trust in them. Do not give attention to people that lie about you to others, people that try to push you down, people that overlooked you. This may all seem unfair to you, but if God allowed all these to happen to you, then there is a reason for it. This means there is definitely a bigger plan you should be watching out for. Imagine Jesus had gotten upset when Judas betrayed him. Jesus knew that betrayal was a part of his destiny. The mistake we make is that we always fight anything that does not go our way. We get upset unnecessarily. We should know by now that nothing happens by accident. When your enemies attack, just make sure you keep a positive attitude and watch God will use it to your advantage. Most things we are actually asking God to remove from our lives are basically there just to push us to our destiny. Your enemies will make you stronger. God has the final say, since God has not removed that roadblock from your life, then it still has a purpose to serve. Without the naysayers, you would not become all you were created to be. Just be calm and watch how God elevates you in the presence of your enemies. God definitely has His plans for you. You should not be bothered about your future as God has everything under control. All you need to do is let God's plan manifest fully in your life. Your haters are working day and night to make sure you do not succeed and God will definitely put them to shame. The best way to deal with your haters is to make sure you talk to God about all the challenges you are facing. When you do this, God will intervene in your problems and make everything easy for you. Your enemies will try different means to make sure you do not reach your dreams. You should be focused and be steadfast in your worship to God. God loves it when you turn to Him for help, and He will bless you. God will solve all your issues and make sure you reach the peak of your dream. Enemies will always try to hinder your progress. God will avert all they have planned for you, but He will only do this if you pray and communicate with Him. God will answer all your prayers and He will bless you in front of your enemies. The only person that can hinder your progress is you. If you do not have a strong relationship with God, then you are planning for your enemies to win over you. Your blessings and favor will be delivered to you by God in the presence of people. Your star will shine and your enemies will all be put to shame. Just trust God and He will always be there for you. Your haters will receive the shock of their lives after witnessing God's miracles in your life.